Uh, I wanted to ask you about the yeah. running back room. Obviously, with the addition of Michelle, like it seems pretty loaded. How do you see that? Is it competition, just using those guys in different ways? Um, I think a lot of it is, uh, you know, having as many good players as you can in the position is not a bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. Having guys with uh, uh, a broad skill set for the position. Um, so really, we look at it just. Um, having guys with uh, the talent to do the things we require at the position. And uh, when the greatest thing about being at Miami is uh, players who want to come here and be a part of it. So uh, we've just been really fortunate through the process of how many guys really envision themselves here, see a fit and with us, and we also see a fit in our, uh, with our needs. So yeah, Sony's been a great addition. We're lucky to be able to get him. My kids uh, are actually going to be attending the same school he went to. So. Uh, it's been pretty cool from that capacity. I've actually been asking questions about uh, Red Ridge. <laughs> they see, see each other in the in the in the pickup line or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I think I said his daughter's going there too. I uh, want to ask about also Eric Izukama. Adding him as, as a wide receiver. What did you guys like? Yeah. Oh man, it was uh, you know with, with his background with the school. I mean, yeah. it was kind of like you know here we go. But uh, yeah, physical wide receiver, uh, playmaker, great with uh, uh, yards after the catch. I mean, a lot of what we're looking for, physical uh, competitor. So the greatest thing, you know, you're looking for at the position is guys who have, uh, you know, a broad skill set and especially a physicality and a toughness position. And he demonstrated that all over his tape. Frank, you, you're about halfway through this offseason workout program. I guess uh, as an offensive coordinator, what is like your overarching kind of goal for this period and what would you do as a successful you know, offseason workout period? Sure, great question. Um, I think like for us, especially this time of year, uh, as we're not prepping for an opponent, you're really prepping to play the position and maximize your skill set. Uh, and for many ways, like guys just learning uh, the way we see it, uh, playing their position inside of the system. So I think a lot of times people rush into uh, the playbook because you know you feel that desire to get that down as opposed to you learn the fundamentals that will transcend all the way to the Super Bowl. You know, your final goal is February. You know, you got to build the foundation now to lay the, uh, you know, to build the skyscraper you're looking to build on top of it, you know. So that was an analogy that always made sense to me. It's like, you know, you want to build a tall, strong building, you got to start with that, you know, strong foundation. That's what we're trying to do now. So, Frank, when you install, when you're installing a new playbook, a new scheme, new staff, like, at mm -hmm. what point do you hope to see the light bulb start to turn on for you guys? Um, I think, I mean, it's interesting you say that because I always go back to when I got to the Saints, we always talked about, like, I remember the story they always told about Marcus Colston. And at this time of year, they were kind of like, he was the seventh round draft pick, and they were kind of, and it was right around training camp. You know, the lights really came on for him. He really started seeing the players. So I think this time of year, um, you know, the worst thing you can do is rush to conclusions, rush to judgment, uh, because um, right now we're in a really introductory phase to what we want to accomplish with them, and that's learning how to play their position and learning the skill set necessary. So, like right now, you see glimmers like uh, different guys, just aspects they're understanding and uh, and seeing how they fit into the overall system. You know, they're they're one of one piece of the entire offense. What we're trying to do. So, I think each guy gives different glimmers to as they go, and then the real measure is when we get to training camp and we start really putting pads on and playing football for real. Frank, what have you learned about Tua since the start of the offseason program? Man, what a uh, – one, getting to know him as a person has been awesome. Just his sense of humor, uh, how competitive he is, um, just all the makeup that you're like uh, – what he's been able to get to to get to this point. You're like, wow, what a strong foundation as a person because that's uh, drastically important. And then, two, just his uh, ability like in the vet mini camp and what he was able to do from playing, uh, play out, uh, his communication skills, uh, his command of the offense, his ability to really accomplish what we're looking to play at the position. So it's been all great so far, we're really encouraged. And then you just see his ability to uh, process in his accuracy. Like it's been really, really, uh, you know, just impressive just from in this short period of what he's able to take from one day to the next, then to the next week, because we see the growth sometimes, you know, uh, as coaches from, you know, week one of offseason phase two, and now this is the last week. And now we're working into the last evolution. So, I mean, from a fundamental standpoint, playing the position, 
uh, from a leadership and communication standpoint, also associated with playing quarterback, everything's been extremely optimistic. How much confidence does that give you as a coach to be able to throw even more than maybe you even thought, Adam, early on? Um, uh, a ton. But I think like the, it always goes back down to what are we trying to accomplish in this phase, this early part? Because I think, um, unfortunately, I've done this a couple times with new staff, so it's like knowing uh, the challenges. And I think the really uh, unique thing that Mike is doing is that we are laying the foundation of how to play their position and the skill sets required, the tools necessary, um, so that when you want to start challenging with scheme later on, they have the foundation and techniques and fundamentals to be able to fulfill that later on. So it's like, you know, you're teaching, you know, how to punch and you know how to give the freaking judo chop before you go straight to uh, dojo fights, all right, in the Valley Karate Championship. So. The, the crane doesn't come out yet? Or? Not yet. No, that's, that's, that's a finishing move, man. You don't do that right away. Where is he from a physical standpoint in terms of what you guys need to play that position? Oh, physical has been fine. I mean, the, the one unique thing with him is his ability to play with fundamentals and accuracy of the ball. So, I mean, this time of year, we're working the whole route tree, all different concepts and all the things necessary for the wide receivers and for him and the running backs. So the one thing is, is his ability to – uh, on the field process and deliver the football where we need it needed to go. So uh, from a fundamental skill set, it's been awesome because, you know, the way just there's many different philosophies to how you approach this time of year. And then the way uh, we're doing it is really letting them understand uh, their piece of the puzzle. And then especially with the quarterback playing the position, playing it fundamentally sound uh, and using your uh, you know, eligible receivers to play it, and they know how to, they fit in the puzzle. Like, and all that working together has been great because I just think the one thing uh, that this time of year allows us to, without playing versus anyone, it just allows you to really master the things that uh, you can rely on when it counts in September, October, November, all the way into February. What are your impressions of his arm? Uh, have you got an idea of what you can and maybe can't do uh, vertically? Yeah, I wouldn't say that we're limiting ourselves in anything. He's actually been done a great job of, you know, every day is presents uh, different, you know, routes, uh, different things we're trying to accomplish with the receivers. So I would say that everything we've done so far has been extremely optimistic because there are certain things in our progressions and reads and his ability to move from throughout his progressions has been uh, awesome for a guy. Uh, just really being in the system for a month. Craig, where does Sony Michelle, and sorry if you were asked this already, where does Sony Michelle fit into this running back room? It, it feels like one of the deeper positions on the team mm -hmm. before he got here. Yes. And with him, just wanted to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah. Um, we are looking for depth of very good players everywhere. So the fact of which him becoming available uh, due to him being from here, it is his desire to want to play uh, here and in a system that really features a running back skill set because the greatest gift that we have is uh, the resume of uh, the system speaks for itself for running backs. So a lot of like a lot of the guys through the offseason, their desire to play here uh, coincided with like our wanting to have him here. So I think that for him, um, his skill set and just evaluate him in the past, it was a perfect fit for what we're trying to do and just the availability and everything, it just it worked out uh, because as a running back, I mean, we look for complete backs and uh, it was great that it aligned and that he really had a mutual interest as we did.